Hey guys, it's Rojo Inc. And today we're going to be doing another tutorial for Sibelius. And I actually got a request to do this. So the request that I got was, could you color the note heads in Sibelius? And the answer is yes. And it's a really simple and easy way to do this. Now, this is for Sibelius 7. I don't know how it might work. Wait, actually, this is Sibelius 8. Um, I don't know how it would work for previous versions, but for Sibelius 7, it's really easy. So, we're going to be doing um, just a simple term, uh, just to get through this. We're going to do a C major scale um, in treble clef. So, we're going to write it out. So, here we have the notes. And... They wanted to know how could you color the note head. So simply you just click on the note and you go into your home tab and under edit there should be color. And then you choose color and set it to whatever color you want. In this case I'll do it red. So now you can see the C is red. So now let's change the D. So you select the note and go into color, choose color. Let's make this one blue. So now you can see the D is blue. Now let's go with E. Again, you go to color, choose color. Let's make this purple or pink. I don't know. Now F, same process. You go into color and you choose the color. We're going to go with green. G, let's go with yellow. A, let's go with um brown why not just some random colors and then let's go b natural we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go orange so let's go orange there we go and then the final c we're gonna make this red as well so there we go we have a c major scale all color coded Alright, so that's pretty much it guys. Um, I know it was a really quick tutorial, but yeah. So for the person that asked, uh, whoever asked for this request on how to color the note heads, let me just go ahead and see who that was. Let me go to my previous Sibelius tutorial. Shiva R, there you go. That is how you color code the notes in Sibelius 8. So thanks a lot for asking for the request. I was more than happy to do this tutorial for you. And if you guys have any more questions or requests that you would like to know for Sibelius 8, please make sure to leave it down below in the comments. And I'll be more than happy to look into it and show you guys how to do it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and become a color, guys. Until next time, I'm Rojo E. And I'll see you guys later. Adios.